We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, we are now on the third Sunday of Easter. And today, we are invited to touch the wounds of the Lord, as we, or, as we also touch our own wounds and our own painfulness. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and, and to, to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have, I have greatly, greatly sinned in, in my thoughts, thoughts and, and in my words, words in, in what I have done, done and in what, in what I, have I have failed to do, do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all, all the angels, angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your people exalt forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, so that rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption, 
we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter said to the people, The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this, we are witnesses. Now I know, brothers, that you acted of ignorance just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted that your sins may be wiped away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial song. Lord, your face shine on us. Lord, let Lord, your face shine on us. When I call, answer me, O my just God, who you relieve me when I am in distress. Have pity on me and hear my prayers. Lord, let your face shine on us. You know that the Lord does wonders for his faithful one. The Lord will hear me when I call upon him. Lord, let your face shine on us. O Lord, let the light of your countenance shine upon us. You put gladness in my heart. Lord, let your face shine on us. As soon as I lie down, I fall peacefully asleep. For you alone, O Lord, bring security to my dwelling. Lord, let your face shine on us. A reading from the first letter of St. John. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. But anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous one. He is expiation for our sins, and not for our sins only, but for those of the whole world that we may be sure that we know him is to keep his commandments. Those who say, I know him, but do not keep his commandments are liar, and the truth is not in them. But whoever keeps his word, the love of God is truly perfected in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. with you and with your 
your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The two disciples recounted what had taken place on the way and how Jesus was made known to them in the breaking of bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and brought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still in incredulous, for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. Sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good evening, sisters and brothers. On the third day, on the third Sunday of Easter, the focus of our celebration is peace. Peace be with you are so important these words of Jesus that we hear that we hear them three times in the gospel. What does this peace mean to us? Last week, we heard St. John's account of one, of one of Jesus' appearance to the disciples in the days after his death and resurrection. Peace be with you, Jesus said, as he breathed them or breathed the strength of the Holy Spirit on his fearful and doubting followers. In doing this, Jesus echoed what he had said to the disciples at the Last Supper after he had washed their feet. The Holy Spirit will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. Peace, I live with you. My peace, I give to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not let them be afraid. But Thomas still doubted and needed, place in his, needed to place his hands on the wounded body of Jesus before he could believe. St. Luke's account of the appearance of Jesus starts on the third day after the, the crucifixion, the day when his tomb was found empty. On the road to Emmaus, a stranger walks with two of the disciples, and finally, they recognize Jesus in the breaking of the bread. This week's gospel tells what followed. Jesus appears amongst all the disciples. Again, greeting them with, Peace be with you. He assures them he is not a ghost and is still with them in, in the flesh. As they stand dumbfounded, Jesus asks the very human question, Have you anything to eat? Once again, he shares a meal with his followers. And as they share the food, he opens their hearts and minds to understand what they have seen and heard. As we share the food of our Eucharistic meal each time we gather at Mass, we recall that whenever Jesus shared a meal with his followers, he opened their hearts and minds. 
Jesus said, touch me and see for yourselves. We may not be there in Jerusalem in that room or in that room with the disciples reaching out to touch Jesus. But actually, we can touch and see Jesus in all the good things around us in our world. In the food that nourishes us, the water that revives us, and washes us clean. In the love of God, family, and friends that sustains us. All these are part of the peace that we have been given. And in these words, we feel our call to be, to be at peace with our families, communities, workplaces, and as brothers and sisters, as one body of Christ. It is very convenient for us to actually see Jesus in all the good things that happened in our lives. Indeed, yes. But how about in our woundedness? In our gospel, Jesus seemed to show the two disciples how he had been hurt by saving us. His gruesome passion and death on the cross are clear manifestations that even he, a God, has been broken by life's strife and uncertainties. We all have our fair share of these pains and struggles. We all have our wounds that are sometimes very painful and could leave us nowhere but in tears of sadness and of pain. Whenever we are hurt and we are troubled, who are we thinking of? If we let ourselves be drowned by our own passion and death, we may have a poor sight and experience of Jesus' wounds. Sisters and brothers, as we celebrate today the third Sunday of Easter, we are invited to be comfortable with our own painful wounds as what Jesus had done so that He could save us. Because it is in the being comfortable with our pains the only way for our success and for our salvation. In this Mass, let us pray that in feeling our wounds, we may also feel Jesus' warm embrace of love and His compassion. Let us all stand and profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy, the Holy Catholic, Catholic Church, Church, the, the communion of saints, the, the forgiveness, forgiveness of, of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our whole life should, be, should bear witness to the truth that we are saved by Jesus' death and resurrection. Aware of our inadequacy to do so, we pray, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That the entire church, under the guidance of its leaders, may never grow weary of proclaiming the resurrection and bear witness to it. Let us pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. us. That all those suffer may find in the resurrection of Christ the surest source of consolation and hope. Let us pray. Lord, graciously, graciously hear us. That those who doubt the reality of Christ's resurrection may be helped to believe by the ex exemplary life of all faithful. Let us pray. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. That all the victims of natural calamities and human violence 
may experience the concrete support of all those who believe in the resurrection of Christ, let us pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. us. That all of us who are gathered here to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord may experience His life-giving power in our daily activity. Let us pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. Jesus, help us to overcome the deadly effects of our sinfulness and to become signs of your resurrection to all our brothers and sisters, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. For your offerings in the envelope, you may drop them at the collection baskets. Stand. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, Grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the holes of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful, for his death is our ransom from death, and his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Gilbert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, as one family and as one community, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of God's peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Grant us peace.
who cannot kneel, please remain standing with reverence. Sisters and brothers, behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us Amen. safe for eternal life. Give 
The second collection, which will be done, is for the continuing development of the Paris and National Shrine of St. Father Pio, and for the needs and welfare of the sick and retired priest of the Archdiocese of Lipa. Thank you for your offering. Please all stand. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for intercession to Saint Padre Pio. All together, Padre Pio, Holy Monk from Pietralcina, outstanding saint of the present era, our bright beacon on this earthly pilgrimage, our sanctuary in times of trouble, holy exemplar of great courage, with you our needs to be confide, as well as our livelihood, our health and our might. Unworthy as we are, we pray that you concede, bless and grace us that our lives may be fulfilled. From seed may we abstain, in God may we remain. We also beseech thee, servant of the most holy, to instruct us in the gospel that we may reflect and believe. Our requests are before thee. Our hearts repent. 
resolving earnestly to not sin again, to always follow God the Father, together with the Spirit, and Jesus the Mediator. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Una, sa inyong pagdalaw sa pambansan dambana, mangyaring pakaingatan ang inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad namin ang isang matiwasay at maayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. Ikalawa, sa pagnanais natin palawakin ang dokumentasyon at datos ng mga pilgrims and devotees na bumibisita sa pambansan dambana, kami po ay nag-aanyaya sa inyong lahat na makilahok sa ginagawang pagkalakap ng impormasyon na mga katulong sa pagpapaunlad ng ating turismong pangsimbahan. Makikisuyo po kami na pakaiskan ang QR code na inyong makikita sa paligid ng simbahan at pakikumpleto ng mga impormasyong kinakailangan. Makakaasa po kayo sa aming pag-iingat ng private information na inyong ibabahagi bilang pagsunod sa batas ng Data Privacy Act of 2012. Ang inyong pakikiisa ay malaking tulong at susi sa tagumpay ng proyektong ito. Ikatlo, katahimikan at diwa ng pananalangin sa loob at labas ng ating mga simbahan. Magsitayo na po ang lahat para sa pagbabasbas na religious articles. Pakilabas na po yung mga religious articles ninyo, yung inyong mga uh, rosaryuhan, uh, mga dasalan, mga medalyon, at mga crucifix. Ngayon po ay babasbasan po natin. Hindi pa po. Uh, magdadasal pa po tayo. Wait lang po. Mga kapatid, manalangin tayo sa Diyos amang makapangyarihan upang tayo ay maging kawangis si Kristo sa taimtim na pagdalangin sa tulong ng mga larawan at mga dasalan. O Panginoong Diyos, Ikaw ang bukal ng lahat ng pagkapala at biyaya. Ibuhos mo ang bendisyon. Sa mga gamit na ito ng pananalangin, sa aming mga rosaryo, mga, mga imahin at mga dasalan na nagpapaalala ng iyong kabutihan, kabanalan at pagmamahal sa amin upang ang lahat ng dumudulog at magdasal gamit ang mga ito ay magtamo ng iyong awa at biyaya. Loobin mong tularan nila ang kabanalan at aral ng Panginoon at ng mga santo magpas sa walang hanggan. Amen. Ama namin. Our, ama namin, suma sa langit ka. Sambahin ang alan mo, mapasa amin ang kaharian mo, sundin ang loob mo dito sa lupa para nang sa langit. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ang aming kakanin sa araw-araw. Patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para nang pagpapatawad namin sa mga nagkakasala sa amin. At huwag mo kami ipaintulot sa tukso at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. Abagi noong Maria na pupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat at pinagpala naman ng iyong anak na si Jesus, Santa Maria ay nanan Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Luwalati sa Ama at sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara na una ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Ama namin, suma sa langit ka, sambahin ang alan mo, Mapa sa amin ang kaharian mo, sundin ang loob mo dit sa lupa para nang sa langit. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ng aming kakanin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para nang pagpapatawad namin sa mga kakasala sa amin at huwag mo kami ipaintulot sa tukso at idya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. Abagi noong Maria na pupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat, pinagpala naman ng iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan. Ngayon at kung kami mamamatay, amen. Luwalati sa Ama at sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara noong una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan, amen. Ama namin, suma sa langit ka, sambahin ang alan mo, mapa sa amin ang kaharian mo, Sundin ang loob mo dit sa lupa para nang sa langit. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ang aming kakanin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala 
para nang pagpapatawad namin sa mga nagkakasala sa amin. At huwag mo kaming ipaintulot sa tukso at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. Abaginong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat, pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, inanan Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan, ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Luwalhati sa Ama at sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara nung una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Thank you very much for all those who attended this Holy Mass. May you have a blessed weekend and may you have a blessed night tonight. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go now in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Amen.